either this is the building that we were in fact looking for or it looks a lot like the building that we were looking for. And there's Chris recording and here's me recording Chris. It's our first full day in Hong Kong and we're recording a project for Chris's Polish channel. cheese tart from a bakery right here. It smells like cheese to me. Isn't it egg tart with actual egg? Egg tart with cheese? Egg tart with cheese. Cheese tart with egg. It's very understated. Yeah. It actually tastes, it actually has a texture of egg. Just up the steps from this commercial residential area, Quarry Bay, is this forest with all these little temples and gods throughout it. It's like, you can hear all the street noise still, but it's like way quieter and more peaceful up here. It's an interesting mix. Look at these two guys here. Just chilling by the small tree. Put your finger there by comparison. They're very small. The escalators here are much faster. Inspirational. You stand on the right side, walk on the left. But you drive on the left side, walk. Drive on the left side. You drive on the left side, stand on the right side, walk on the left. Straight chilling. <laughs> We take this elevator up three times and down three times so that Chris can catch views. Chris and I have this problem with bookstores. We almost, too many books. Yeah, we buy way too many books. Basically every time we enter the bookstore we buy books. Yeah, I walked out with this. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Mai and I'm Jason. Yeah, I'm Japan. Uh, I'm from mm -hmm. Hong Kong. And you also vlog. Yeah, a lot. Okay, vlog, let's player. This is the chicken feet, but we call we call it the uh, Phoenix Talents. The pork and shrimp black truffle topping and pork and crab roe. I mean, this is what happens when everyone here is vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to give you our fourth, third camera? <laughs> Chashu pork. Yeah. Spons and pork. These buns have just for Mmm. <laughs> awesome. And, um, but it's so good. Right when up. you watch people eat on videos, you just want, want them to be like, oh, this oh, is yeah, so yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese people are way better at yeah, eating yeah. than we are. It's so good. Japanese <laughs> 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 Popular on YouTube here. What? Well, mostly gameplays. Uh huh. Um, short stories, kind of like, kind of like small. Mango mochi. It was very good. Very good. So in this building, there's a ton of uh, like local artists displaying their work and selling it, I guess. So we're gonna we're gonna go check it out, or do we do we have time to check it out? This place is. Like a creative hub for young companies. So there's offices for young architects, developers, programmers, some artists. The battery died. I have to go to the hotel and pick up a new one. Okay, I got my hair cut. Chris went to the gym. Wow, there's walking men on that building. I'm seriously impressed. And so we want to get to the other part of Hong Kong now. So we have yeah, to catch this. This is funny because this is not the impressive skyline, right? The impressive skyline is on this side.
so pretty. I wonder how many cameras there are in this water. Other idiots are doing exactly what I'm doing. So it seems that the light show is just like occasional lasers shooting in the sky sporadically. It's starting to rain and I just had my hair blow dried. It's gonna go. There's a man making noodles over there and everyone was clapping for him. Our duck has arrived. Plates of duck just keep coming. Uh, and it comes with this thing. So you grab a duck. You take a piece, you dip it into the sauce, you put it in the middle of the thing. One, two, cup it. And now you have a little duck taco. We finished the entire duck. Just take Instagram photos in that amazing spot with all the neons. Make sure to check out our Instagrams. Hoverboards. That's such a businessy approach to public work. Day two, Hong Kong vlog. We're in Central right now, the really financial part of Central. Everyone looks like the Wolf of Wall Street. That's, what you heard is an example of spitting in China. Oh. I mean China. Hong and China Hong and Hong Kong. Ipudo ramen from Tokyo or Japan. I don't think it's, I think it's actually from Fukuoka. We couldn't find the restaurant we were looking for and we're getting just decently hungry right now. So... KFC. We're, different. we're getting things that are not available. In Japan. Yeah. 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 Or, or unique, are unique to Hong Kong. Okay, well we ordered the original things, which is this basket of like wings to taste. Every wing has a different flavor, so there's tomato, wasabi, something, something, something. Is it spicy? And there's an egg tart. Cranberry biscuit. Potatoes and gravy. I miss mashed potatoes and gravy. To clarify that this was not a sponsored endorsement by KFC, I must say I, I'm very disappointed with this meal. I didn't like it. We somehow transitioned from being here and catching a quick bite for lunch, and now it's 7 p.m. and we're going back to the hotel. I don't know how this happened. So you can like catch a seat in the very front and ride along through the center of the city. It's awesome. That was the best tram ride of my life. Not that the, the bar is especially high, because tram rides are usually just tram rides. But this, this is amazing. This one's in English. Uh, pigeon. I want to eat a pigeon because in Krakow, where I was born, we have a lot of pigeons and everybody hates them because they shit all over the place. But you can't eat them because they have salmonella. So it's only just that I eat a pigeon here. Three options of things and then you can combine them. The meat is 
is super like beefy. Cristofero is happy. Shit. What you got in your bag there, Chris? Uh, wine. <gasps> Are you gonna drink the alcohol? Yep. Walk with me. Major key alert. Wine talk. To the lounge. Chongqing Mansion is most famously known from the movie Chongqing Express, one of Hong Kong's biggest like pop culture export movies. One of Hong Kong's biggest pop culture export. One of Hong Kong's biggest. 